Today, I will be sharing how I made this pine needle basket. The first thing we need, of course, are pine needles. I've been using Ponderosa pine needles from my backyard. You can gather the brown needles off the ground, although the longer they have been on the floor, the more likely they'll have some imperfections. We had a tree fall last year and the needles have turned brown. This is the easiest way of collecting the needles. The longer the needles are, the easier it is to work with. Next, we'll need some boiling water to soften the pine needles. While the kettle is boiling, I prepare the pine needles by trimming the ends. I wrap the pine needles in a small cloth and place them in a container. The other materials that you will need are a pair of scissors, thick heavy duty thread, a large needle, a three inch section of a paper straw, and a small cup to hold everything. When the water boils, carefully pour it over top of the needles, ensuring that they are completely submerged and let this sit for 30 minutes. You will know when they are ready when they bend easily around your finger. To keep their elasticity, you will need to keep them wrapped in a damp towel while you're working on this project. ago I became very intrigued when I saw that you can make little baskets with pine needles and we have a few ponderosa pines in our backyard that have fallen and the needles have dried out and I just thought what a perfect way uh, to use this resource that I have just right in my backyard. So here I am to show you how I make these pine needle baskets. Fill the straw with the needles all facing the same direction. You will be working on the side of the pine needles that were cut. The needles should fit snug, but you should also be able to slide the gauge up and down. Start by cutting a piece of your chosen thread. Cut roughly two meters or two arms lengths of thread. Tie a double knot around the pine needles two inches from the cut end. Begin to wind the thread around the pine needles towards the straw. Keep the thread tightly against each other without overlapping. Okay. 
Once you have wrapped about three centimeters, hold the wrapped piece and bend it in half. Secure the wrapped section by stitching the two sides together, passing the needle from one side of the bent coil to the other. And now you can cut off the excess needles, making sure that you're cutting from the cluster side and not from the side facing the straw. Begin by rolling the pine needles, creating a circle around the wrapped portion. Secure it by wrapping the thread around the pine needles and then back through the wrapped coil. Do this every five millimeters. Be sure to keep the spacing as even as you can, as this will affect the pattern of the thread on your basket. Continue this way by wrapping and bending the coil and stitching until you have come full circle back to your first stitch. When it's time to add more pine needles, add the cut side of the needles into the straw and always add in the center to avoid them from sticking out later on. When you run out of thread, remove the needle and restring a new piece of thread, tying the two together, making a double knot and trimming the excess thread. Now we will plain stitch around the coil by inserting the needle on the back of the work with the needle coming out just right of the thread. Wrap it around a new section of pine needles with the thread lining up with the thread below and repeat. When you are done for the day and want to store your project, remove the paper straw and place the project in with the damp pine needles, wrapping them both in a damp cloth. Place this in the fridge if you're going to have long stretches between working on this project. Now continue to coil and stitch the pine needles until you've reached your desired size for the base. When you are ready to make the walls of the basket, make sure that the side where the threads line up is facing down and will be the bottom of the basket. To shape the walls, you just need to place the new coil on top of the last bottom coil. This way it will create a vertical wall. If you place your coil directly on top of each other, you'll get a straight wall. If you're placing them slightly inside or outside, this will create a widening or a narrowing to your basket. Now continue to stitch just right of the thread and then wrapping the thread tightly around the pine needles.
Once I've gone around three or four times, I like to start narrowing my basket by holding the pine needles on the inside of the rim while stitching. As a decorative touch, I like to add a wrapped coil to the top row of the basket. I do this by wrapping the thread around the pine needles the same way we did at the beginning and stitching it at each thread line. This gives a nice finished edge to the basket. When you get all the way around, trim the excess pine needles and add a few stitches to cover up the end and then secure the thread. And that's it. We just made a cute little basket out of pine needles. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.